You've probably already seen a few different creators talk about the differences between X570 and B450 motherboards, even for gaming, in the last few weeks and months since Ryzen 3rd Gen has launched. Generally speaking though, they're using the high-end Ryzen 9 CPUs and you know RTX 2080Is and stuff like that to help eliminate bottlenecks, but since most of you guys don't have any, I thought I would give you a more mid-range example, mostly because the only Ryzen 3rd Gen chip I have right now is the 3600X, and so so I'm using that with an RTX 2060 to give you a more mid-range analysis. So does it make a difference? Well let's run you through why it might first. The real main thing here is the power delivery to the CPU. X570 boards are designed to be able to run up to 16 core CPUs and potentially even overclock those as well. So even the more budget options like this uh, tough board from ASUS tends to be a little bit more expensive and has a pretty beefy setup. I believe it's a 12 plus two phase design so it definitely can handle even up to those 16 cores. Whereas with the B450 platform, they were only initially meant to support up to eight core chips and even then sometimes that was a bit of a push and so with this design you have only a four plus two phase design with a, a lot of lower end components compared to the more higher end components in the X570 board. Now with that said, the six core 3600X that I'm using here really doesn't stress either of these motherboards too hard and so with this sort of mid-range setup, it doesn't really make a difference. The thing that might make a difference is that when I set up the B450 board, I actually had to swap it, swap the 3600X out and put my 2700X in to be able to update the BIOS on the board to allow the 3600X to work. Now this is a press board, so it may have just been sitting in storage for the last year and therefore hasn't had an update and generally speaking most of the boards that are being sold through retailers right now should have updates already but since most of you don't have second gen Ryzen CPUs just lying around and actually some different RAM for that matter. Uh, generally speaking, it might be a little bit of a hassle, so something to keep in mind. Now with that said, does it actually make a difference to your in-game FPS? Well, for 3 Mark Firestrike, the difference is pretty much negligible between the two, as was the, the Battlefield 5 results being actually 0.03 different between the, the two averages, so very similar there. The only real outliers here were Fortnite and PUBG, which because of the Battle Royale game mode, have a fairly large margin of error between them and so you actually found that the B450 board which is the one that you would expect to be slower here was actually between three and five percent faster but again that's really just down to margin of error they're more repeatable tests like Battlefield 5 and 3 Mark Firestrike show that they were basically identical so in terms of actual in-game FPS no there's no difference now of course straight CPU performance isn't the only thing that you should factor in here price is obviously the main one but also functionality that the X570 boards offer might be interesting to you, mainly in the form of PCIe Gen 4 SSD support. Of course, that won't give you any better FPS in games, but it might give you better loading times, which if you have issues with loading times, then that could be a factor. But generally speaking, those SSDs tend to be a good bit more expensive than even standard NVMe SSDs. And so you'd probably be better at this sort of mid-range price point going for, say, or spending that money on a better graphics card or CPU, for example, rather than a faster SSD. So the too long didn't watch of this is no, it doesn't really make a difference at this mid-range point for your in-game FPS. You just won't have the same upgrade path and some features available if you do go with B450 and you might have some mild compatibility issues. Otherwise, really, they're, they're very similar, of course, besides their price. And so if you do want to save a bit of money and you're going for a more mid-range option like the 3600X, then I highly recommend B450, at least while they're still available. Now, with that said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you building a new system? And if so, are you considering Ryzen? And if so, are you considering X470, X570, B450? What kind of motherboard are you thinking of? I'd love to hear that in those comments down below. And if you want to check out either of these ASUS Tough motherboards, then you can check out links in the description down below as well and pick them up, or even just check pricing when and where you watch this. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 
check out that subscribe button with the bell notification icon to be notified of those new videos. You can also support the channel with the links in the description down below. There's Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. Or there's also merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one and a load of other stuff like private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Mono for cheap games to support charities too. You can also check out more videos over there if you want to keep watching and otherwise that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions leave those in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.